A puzzle effect is a great way to add spice and sizzle to your images. In this video tutorial, I'll be demonstrating to you how to achieve the same effect so you can use it in your images and in your projects. Let's get started. Before we begin, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video on where to download this, this effect for texturizer. Of course, the, the link will direct you to the Adobe Photoshop, Adobe's uh, download page. And once you and once you're there, you download your package, and you're going to get a DMG or a, a zip folder similar to this. So you open it. Go ahead and launch and open. It, you open your package or your zip file. And you're going to get these three, I'm sorry, these four documents, three folders and one document. So you're going to go into your presets folder, into the presets folder, and you're going to note the folder, and it's the only folder there, the texturizer. And this will be all the textures that, we're going to, that are optional in your te textures. The one we're going to be using today is the one called puzzles. Here it is. This is puzzles. <clears throat> so we're going to add this texture folder into our, our Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop's application folder. So for you Mac users, just follow along, and you'll see where to you'll know where to, where to put this this folder at. So go to Finder, open up a new Finder window, Command and, and you go to Applications. Go to your Photoshop folder and open up, and it will open up. And then inside the folder, you'll see, you'll see a, another folder called Presets. Open that folder, and that's where you're going to drop in your texture folder. Just go ahead, drag and drop it into the Presets folder. I already have one in there, so I'm just going to replace it. Okay, so then just close those windows out, and that's all we need. And for Mac, for for the for Windows users, I believe in order to download your texture textures into your Photoshop program, I would believe it's you go enter your C drive, which is your hard drive, and you go into your programs file, and inside your programs file, you would open Photoshop, it'll be Photoshop, and inside that there'll be Photoshop folder you go into the presets I'm sorry yes I'm sorry your pre yes it's, it's your presets and then you just drag and drop your folder in that folder okay so <clears throat> let me open up a new document file new I'm gonna name my file puzzles I'm gonna set it to 1280 by 720 and I'm going to go to I'm going to place an image in here so I'm going to go to File, Place. I'm going to use this image that I took when I was when I went climb, rock climbing. Sorry, uh, mountain climbing, I should say. So now I'm just going to scale it to the size of my document. Hit OK. And now, to add the text effect, the texture effect, we're going to go to Filter, Texture, Texturizer. And now, when you first open up, when you first open up this this dialog box, you're not gonna have uh, the puzzles effect. So we're gonna have to manually load it. So we're gonna go up to this icon, open it, load textures, and we're gonna go to the same folder where we have our presets. So in the Mac, would it be inside our applications folder? inside the Adobe Photoshop folder and inside the presets folder. Look for textures and look for puzzles. Load it up and there you have it loaded up. And now the good settings that I find to work good for this demonstration would be 200 for the scaling and relief of 15. Depending on your image and your preference, your image or projects will look different. Hit OK. And there you have your text effect, your texture effect, I'm sorry. Now, 
to add a little more sizzle to your images let's zoom in a little bit and we are going to just cut out, cut out a few of these puzzles so I'm going to use the quick selection tool and just choose one of these puzzle pieces and I'm just going to select and cut out one of these puzzle pieces to add an effect to make a give, give it more of a realistic effect to, to the image so before I, I even do that I'm going to line out the image, rasterize it, because without rasterizing you'll be you won't be able to cut out the shapes. So right click and then click click on layer via cut. Now by doing that it cuts out your selected portion of that image. So by using your move tool, either go into your tool, your toolbar and selecting the move tool or by hitting your hitting the keyboard shortcut V you can move around that same puzzle piece that you're moving just place it somewhere in the image and you can do the same with any other puzzle pieces that, we, that you would like to use so I'm gonna go ahead and choose another puzzle piece and I'm just gonna go with this one here I want to go into quickly to select this piece and just just edit just edit around so have I'm not gonna go precise on this but obviously you were gonna you're gonna go you're gonna be more you're gonna take more time with it with yours and be more precise than I am so then let's right click layer via cut Make sure to have your, your main image selected or else it, this won't work. Let it be a cut. And there's another piece. Zoom out. Go to your move tool and move that up. As you can see, it gives it a more of a realistic effect by cutting out a few more pieces. So there you have it. That's your text, your puzzle texture on images. Now you can go ahead and, and use these images. This, this, uh, this effect, I'm sorry in your projects. Hopefully this little technique helped and please don't forget to comment, subscribe, uh, like this video if you like it, favorite this video if, you, if it's your favorite and don't and tell your friends, tell people who are Photoshop enthusiasts, those who like photoshopping, photo editing, making web elements and such because in this channel we'll be learning all these things about web elements, photoshopping, photo editing, in anything of this nature. I hope this will help you guys and until next time.